Heroes are preparing for the possibility that a teacher strike will shut down schools after the holiday weekend. WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer is live in Melrose. And Jordan, I know you have new details just in on the negotiations. Lisa, we just learned that negotiations will take place tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. with the school committee, but 99% of the Melrose Education Association voted to authorize that strike to happen on Tuesday. They say they've been working now for 200 days without a contract and at this point have no other choice. We want to be in front of our kids and we don't want to have to strike. Unfortunately, the educators in Melrose have been screaming for help from the district for months and months and months and we haven't gotten anywhere. Teachers in Melrose are preparing to strike following the holiday weekend if they can't come to a contract agreement with the city. Our contract expired June 30th and it has been um, frustrating at best. President of the Melrose Education Association, Lisa Donovan, tells WBZ they're asking for a cost of living increase. She says without proper funding, the needs of Melrose students can't be met. Not having a settled fair contract um, in the long term, it will be harmful to the Melrose Public Schools because you won't attract and you certainly won't retain quality educators. A problem that this fifth grade teacher says has caused staffing shortages. We are severely understaffed. Now parents are planning ahead for the possibility of a strike. Fortunately, Ellen Stewart works remotely. She says she supports the Melrose Education Association's decision and is opening her home to her son's friends who may need child care. You do certainly feel sympathy for the families that may not have family nearby, things like that, because then it makes this kind of a situation makes it a little bit more challenging for them. And her son is hoping he won't have to miss school next week. Hopefully we can get his son weekend so we'll get it done this weekend so we'll be back to normal on Tuesday. In a statement, the Melrose School Committee says in part, quote, we've made many generous and fair offers that have been rejected. In response to the strike, Mayor Paul Broder saying, quote, closing schools is harmful to students and will create a burden for many of our parents and caregivers who may need to find alternative care for their children. The fact that this contract situation has been going on and dragging on for so long is really upsetting. In Massachusetts, public employees are prohibited from striking. On Sunday, the union will be holding a rally here across from the Melrose High School at 1 p.m. Live in Melrose tonight, Jordan Jagelenzer, WBZ News.